for our Legends in Lunchtime series. Uh, today you can see John grimacing as I mentioned the word legends. Um, it's not normally so bashful. Um, I used to know John in another life when he was uh, in a career in sports journalism which which he gave up to uh, to take up an established goal. That was way back in 1977. John was always a guy who was very, very sure of his own opinion, that he was right, and he always had a very different perspective on things. That's uh, enough for the <laughs> <laughs> And those qualities, I think, are, have been really key, as you'll probably get a sense when he's talking to Jerry later on, have been key to, towards him being able to make his vision a reality. And just to give you a sense of his, his forcefulness and his sometimes wacky ideas. I remember, um, John, you remember this. Um, no, goal memory's that, uh, gone. Yeah. <laughs> goal used to have a tennis tournament and he invited all of the greats over from tennis, Mats Vlander, John McEnroe, Peter Fleming over to play tennis in Fitzwilliam. It was a wonderful series. But this year he had an idea that the, on the, uh, the night before the tennis tournament, he'd have a celebrity boxing match. Um, and he paired up Peter Fleming and Matt Doyle. That's right. uh, I was on the card, I was boxing against Phil Orr, and John McEnroe and Matt Villander. And the two lads, they were the lightweights, if you like. They went at each other like hammer and tongs, didn't they? For three minutes at a time, they really exhausted themselves. And uh, moments, uh, a couple of years later, I was reading John McEnroe's biography. And in John McEnroe's biography, he makes reference to this boxing match, and he lists one of the key stupidest things he's ever done. <laughs> because the next day, when he was playing tennis, he couldn't lift his arms. <laughs> the two of them have been going at each other so hard. That's that's John O'Shea. That's that's the influence that he has, and I think it's been a big part of uh, of his establishment of goal, and something that I think all of Ireland can be proud of. We 